SLS AMG. Not only in reality does it put in an impressive performance on the asphalt. Also in the virtual world of Gran Turismo 5, the digital vehicle is a genuine super sports car. Just what you'd expect from the famous GT series on the Sony PlayStation. SLS AMG is digitally created here at the Polyphony Studio in Tokyo, Japan. GT5 has been five years in development. In contrast to the humble beginnings of the racing game series when in 1997 14 game developers were involved, today there are approximately 140. The standards of Kazunori Yamauchi, the mentor of the cult game, are exacting. Gran Turismo is a real driving simulator. We have a physics calculation model, so when you take the parameters for that car and enter these into the model, it will automatically drive like that particular vehicle. This way the basic physical characteristics of the car will appear as is in Gran Turismo. So that's something that we actually can't touch. If the original car is made well, it'll drive well. Programmers and designers worked on the model of the SLS AMG for six months, but the work doesn't only take place on the computer. On a visit to Germany, the game developers got a first impression of the asphalt racer. But only behind closed doors are they allowed their first look at the new SLS AMG. For the fans around the world, the GT series stands for extreme realism. So Kazunori Yamauchi personally tests the driving dynamics of the super sports car for himself on the legendary Nordschleife. When I drove the SLS on the Nürburgring, one thing that I felt was this car has an incredible amount of power. You could almost call it ferocious. Not only that the car is incredibly stable, even on the rough road surface conditions of the Nürburgring, and you can relax when you drive. It's that ferociousness and that ease of driving. I want to make sure these characteristics stay in the game. Back in Japan, the collected data and impressions are processed. Pixel for pixel, the Nordschleifer and the SLS AMG are digitally copied. With the utmost attention to detail, the developers try to integrate all characteristics into the game. Successfully, the SLS AMG impressed the chief designer so much that he's even considering putting it on the cover of GT5. The foremost reason is that the SLS AMG will probably be the most exciting car in the world when Gran Turismo 5 is released. Also, in terms of styling and driving performance as well, it's probably the hottest car around right now. The fans of Gran Turismo 5 really have something to be excited about. But the fans will have to wait a little longer. The SLS AMG will be available in spring 2010, both in the real and the virtual world. And no matter which one they pick, the driving experience will once again far exceed the high expectations of the fans. <laughs>